People keep asking me why I wanted to do this in the first place, and I think it's pretty obvious. I've never eaten something that had MSG in it and wished that the MSG wasn't there. So since MSG makes everything taste better, that obviously has to apply to coffee as well. We had Baja Blast infused coffee. Next, what about MSG infused coffee. So this is a very interesting project. Uh, this is not my project at all. But this is actually a collaboration between s and Craft Roasting. You guys have seen it on the channel before and my friend Hello Worlds. Uh, but what we want to do today is just taste the coffee and compare the differences between an MSG infused coffee and a not MSG infused coffee. So this was available for a really, really quick period of time and it instantly sold out. And we got the MSG infused and the not MSG infused. These bags were on sale at SNW's uh, website for a super limited amount of time. It really was for the Espresso Fish and Isles Discord, instantly sold out as usual with a lot of these SNW releases. And uh, what was really fun is you were able to pick up a coffee that was MSG infused and not MSG infused. Uh, so we're able to taste the differences between the infusion processes, right? It's like, does MSG make the coffee taste better, worse, or different? Well, I, I kind of wanted to find out myself. We are going to do something kind of unseen on the channel is we're actually going to cup the coffees today. So I'm basically just gonna cup MSG and not MSG. This, that's such a weird thing to say. So we're gonna roll the, the videos from Nick and also Hello World. Hey everybody, it's Hello World, Andrew here from South Carolina. And I'm here to talk about the MSG uh, collab with s and Craft Roasters. The history of the collab goes back a few months. Uh, three or four months ago, I originally pitched the idea to Nick, and uh, he wasn't on board with it at all. Uh, he was really confused as to why I would possibly want MSG in the coffee. Uh, he didn't see how it was a good idea in the slightest. Uh, so I kept uh, mentioning it, you know, a few times a week over the next few months. And then a month ago, uh, a, a month or so ago, he messages me, says that he has uh, an infusion going on one of the greens, uh, on a green that he had gotten in, uh, that he thought was a good fit for it. So a few days later, he sends me the uh, roasted samples, and uh, I think the, the differences between them was really pronounced. The one with the MSG had a much uh, brighter acidity, whereas the standard bean was had a more integrated acidity to it. MSG one tasted a little less ripe, uh, compared to the standard bean, uh, and that being like the type of ripeness that you associate with the traditional natural coffee, uh, that seemed more diminished in the MSG one, uh, which generally is my preference uh, for coffees. Uh, I think that the overall the experiment was a big success, and I think that comparing the two side by side is definitely interesting, and it was a worthwhile endeavor. People keep asking me why I wanted to do this in the first place, and I think it's pretty obvious. I've never eaten something that had MSG in it and wished that the MSG wasn't there. So since MSG makes everything taste better, that obviously has to apply to coffee as well. And I think that the results speak for themselves on this one. Uh, I'm really interested to see you know, what happens with this going forward and what everyone thinks of uh, the coffees in the experiment. Hey everybody, I am s &W Nick. I'm here with Dr. B in the illustrious s and Green Bean Room, the Igloo. And we're here today to talk to you about our At Hello World MSG Infusion project. Uh, it started out as an idea from Hello World, who bugged me <laughs> relentlessly for quite a while. Um, I didn't think it was a great idea. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what to use to do it with. Uh, unfortunately, HW doesn't like Kenya, and that was what I had intended on using. So it took a little while to, to figure out what to do. But I thought the, the El Salvador was a good prospect. So Brian asked me to talk a little bit about the process. Uh, we discussed cooking and what kind of percentages uh, by mass of MSG Hello World likes to use. I uh, came up with a plan and uh, so I took the greens and put them in a pressure vessel with 
the MSG solution and I was careful with my choice of gas uh, because I didn't want to introduce any taint into the process. So I don't figure anybody enjoys uh, the flavor of a gas taint. Once uh, the beans in the solution were in the pressure vessel, I gave them a little bit of this and a little bit of this and some of that until uh, the solution seemed to be absorbed well and placed them on uh, perforated hotel pans with a breeze to dry and stirred them about every 45 minutes until the, the weight showed that it was back down to an appropriate level. At that point, they were a little crusty, so I decided to give my beans a rub, you know, a little bit of this action, a little bit of this action, get some of the, the dry skin off. Um, sealed them up in a plastic bag and let them sit overnight to come to uh, temperature and stabilize the moisture content. And then we started playing with uh, roast profiles. And I've got several that I like to use and several of them did not go well, <laughs> extremely poorly. Uh, but we arrived at one that both Hello World and Dr. B and I enjoyed. And uh, I did a few tweaks to it to make it a little bit more gentle on the beans and decided it was time to let it free and see what you guys thought. I want to thank Hello World for the uh, instigation for this project and the, the lovely drawing that uh, got sent to everybody and uh, BQ for shining a spotlight on the project. It definitely did to the beans what I thought it was going to. I, it seemed to soften up the uh, little wild edges that it had on it. And uh, overall, I, I was really happy that I uh, projected correctly. Thought this was a good endeavor. Glad I could be a part of it. I, I enjoyed it. I think the difference between the original and the MSG, I, I found the, the color to be a bit darker, uh, kind of like a decaf on yeah. the outside of the MSG, but I didn't feel that the brew was very different at all and I found it very interesting that it freshened up the fruit flavor and pushed the acidity towards the back of the cup for me. Don't know if that was due to the moisture introduced or the MSG but I think it's a, an interesting concept and something that I would like to try more of in the future and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you saw the video from Hello World, you know, his logic is if I add MSG to coffee, it should make it taste better. And I, I kind of have a hunch that it's going to change the flavor somehow. I mean, we've seen with things like the Baja Blast infusion is when you do stuff to the green coffee at pretty much any stage, I mean, obviously this is what processing is, um, it can impart flavor. What <laughs> is kind of potentially very scary is, or, or it could be good, is uh, you know we might have a lot more of these roasters tapping into adding uh, stuff, infusing stuff into their uh, coffee, not, you know, not at a producer level, but from a roaster level, which is like, let's throw Baja Blast, let's throw uh, MSG into the coffee and see what happens. I like that SW uh, has given us two versions of the coffee for us to taste. Let's actually go ahead and and, and try these. Uh, I'm gonna give the, the normal, coffee, just a, a smell, and then we'll also uh, go and smell the not MSG infused uh, coffee as well. Terms I, I did not ever expect to say ever, I guess. <laughs> so uh, let's do the not MSG as we see here, not MSG. I can put my Mountain Dew can away. Smelling the coffee, this is still kind of fresh, so I am smelling a little bit of the roast there, but it is smelling really nice. And then, let's do this here. Whoa, interesting. 
I want to say that there's actually a, a bit more of an intense aroma with the MSG infused coffee here, just off of the whole beans, of course. Uh, <laughs> The MSG infused coffee seems to have uh, be visually look a little darker. So it's definitely, there's definitely been some stuff done to, to, to the coffee. So this is the MSG infused and this is the uh, not MSG infused. So uh, as you see here, the MSG infused has a little bit of, of like black uh, scorching on it. But yeah, this is a naturally processed coffee as you see here. I think that means that the actual process of, of infusing the MSG to the coffee was a success. You visually can kind of see that uh, there were some basically compounds or chemicals or something that have touched the coffee and then when they're roasting it, it kind of still sort of sticks onto it. Uh, that was also what the uh, Baja Blast coffee looked like is you could clearly see that something was done to the coffee and it shows up even in the roasted coffee. So it's very interesting to, to see that uh, that that uh, processing has been imparted onto these coffees. Yeah, giving it a smell, like I do think the MSG has a little more intensity of aromas there. Now let's definitely go and, and grind the coffee and, and see if anything uh, changes there. It's always interesting also to see does the actual uh, infusion do anything, especially when you're grinding and brewing? There's a lot of coffee science here, but it's interesting to see, it's like, does that processing actually impart any sort of flavor? Because the processing does need to kind of seep into uh, the, the, the green beans in, in some sort of way. But I'm just going to, to cup, cup these coffees and, you know, hope for the best. So let's do MSG first. Maybe I should have did it blind, but you know, we're doing it for fun. I actually have exactly 11 grams in both of those. <laughs> Pretty fun. Beautiful artwork as well. MSG done here. Visually speaking, I think the, the coffee looks pretty normal. So that's a good start. Gotta make sure I keep track of this. I'll put the MSG one by this beautiful, beautiful artwork uh, that we see here. So far, uh, I don't think this is as scary of a infusion as I, as I thought it would be. It, it smells normal, so that's a that's a good start. Um, I have kind of spoiled myself already, but I did see that people who already got this coffee in said that the MSG did change some things. So uh, you know, not in a good or bi bad way, it's just like it, it manipulated uh, the acidity. But we'll find out ourselves. And this is really for the video for all you guys who uh, bought this coffee. Definitely, always want to support my friends at S and W. Interesting. So I feel like the, let me, let me give the dry doses a smell again. Okay. So this is interesting. I think the ground version of these, at least the dry doses, uh, the dry dose of the normal one has a more intense smell than the MSG. And it was vice versa when they were whole beans. There's definitely like a, a very, just like the a flavor intensity or the aroma intensity is, is different between the two. At least looking at the coffees, I don't really see anything too uh, visually different about them. But uh, we'll ju we're just gonna cup them and let's find out. I've added the water in here. And uh, I got the, the MSG, here, let's, let's do it this way. I got the MSG on the left here. <laughs> so, this is really funny for me to say. I got the MSG on the left here and the not MSG on the right, the, the normal one. And um, we're gonna see how this goes, but um, you know, this has gotta stay here for, for a few minutes and, and we'll see, but. Yeah, so still going off of just aromas, I definitely think the MSG, like the, we're only about two minutes in after adding the water, I definitely think the MSG has a more muted aroma. But we'll break the crust in a few minutes and, and we'll go from there. It might be completely different when we're actually tasting these. I often feel like with processed coffees, uh, at least like this post infusion, or I don't know the exact term, uh, sometimes those processed coffees, at least this infused coffee stuff, can, can be a little more muted on the aromas, but it's really the, the taste that uh, really gets manipulated. You know, a lot of people take their coffee very seriously, uh, but we like to have fun, so I always support very 
interesting efforts like this. You know, I don't have a specific commentary on is this allowed or not allowed, right? But I do think these coffees are uh, against the rules if you try to compete in competitions, right? This is illegal coffee. MSG coffee, unfortunately, not allowed in your competitions, which is a, quite a shame. Might be hard to see on camera here, but uh, it could also be my lights, is I do think the MSG looks a little lighter than the not MSG, uh, not normal, normal coffee. I'm gonna break the crust at around four-ish minutes and then actually begin tasting around 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let them really, really cool. But these are all uh, 11 grams to 180 at about 98 Celsius. So, and we will see how cursed, <laughs> cursed this, this actually is. <laughs> actually, this is a quite stellar coffee by itself. Okay, after breaking the crust there, the normal, the, the not MSG definitely has a more intense aroma. Um, just kind of smelling this guy here. Skim this guy. And then a cool little tip, I don't know if you'll be able to see here, but if you have little residuals there, you can kind of take the bottom of your spoon and you can just briefly touch it and you can get a lot of that off there. So let me see if I can get the little bit here off, just like that. Use the bottom of your cupping spoon, tap, just like barely tap the top and you can get some of that foam off there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting here, but we definitely, it definitely smells very, very different. Uh, but I'm gonna let these guys uh, go for a little longer and we're gonna begin cupping. Actual, just the normal natural is smelling really nice. Like we can, tell that it's already a, a very good coffee just by itself. I mean, SW, definitely known to provide fantastic coffees out there at insanely, insanely uh, cheap prices. I actually think his, the, the price on this coffee is, is too cheap. Yeah, so I still think the actual aromas on the normal uh, natural here, uh, not infused, is, is more intense. That that's still has, has been uh, consistent throughout the in, entire um, kind of entire process. So I'm gonna give it a cupping now, so about eight minutes out. Okay, very, very sweet. Just a normal El Salvador natural, uh, just by itself, very, very sweet. Like I'm just gonna see is, do things change? Uh, where does it change? Where, does, where do things change with the MSG and not MSG? Interesting. So, I think the intensity of acidity is very different between the two. Um, it's still a little hot to tell, so we'll, we'll let it cool down just a little more. I think <laughs> really interesting. So there, there's definitely some sort of mutedness going on with the MSG. I think it rounds and, and it rounds some of the sharpness of, of the acidity here, or I, I don't think sharpness of acidity is the right word, but it sort of mutes this acidity. You taste it first, and then you end up tasting the acidity in the MSG towards the, the end. It is doing something. There is something that, that, that changes here. Very tasty coffee regardless. Yeah, the, the acidity is definitely shifting between the two. I want to say the MSG is a little, little sweeter. Okay. So, there's definitely a little bit of layering, additional, there's like this additional layer of something that is occurring over the acidity uh, on the MSG versus not MSG. And this is definitely that very like structured and bright acidity that you taste. This is just from that, the coffee they're picking here, it's sweet, uh, also the roasting profile. And in the MSG, that upfront acidity is definitely muted or kind of rounded, then you're tasting this layering and then the acidity hits you. I kind of want to look at sweetness now. I think the MSG is a little sweeter. Something is changing between the two. You know, what I'm 
tasting is maybe a little bit of savoriness as well. And, and maybe because of the MSG-ness of this is throwing me off. Like it says MSG, so it's throwing me off here. But you can tell they're the very, they're, they're the same coffee. But where the acidity occurs is, is different as well as this layering. Uh, there's this extra layer of savoriness. I, w I was originally saying it was like muted. The acidity is getting muted and then it's appearing later on towards the aftertaste. I think that's what that layering is, is doing here. And I think this is also giving me a much more rounded, like everything is more rounded. It's more veiled in some sort of way, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I think, um, you know, this is not a high clarity coffee as we uh, can tell because it's infused with something. But this seems like the acidity is more toned down. It's, it's not as loud anymore, but instead of that loudness, it's that rounded sweetness that, that we're getting. Uh, it's definitely not as clean as the, as the uh, regular one, which I wouldn't really classify this as the cleanest coffee in the world, but uh, it is, you know, a nice, it's like a louder coffee, but a lot of that loudness has kind of, um, been, been toned down a little, uh, but it, it, you're trading that acidity, that brightness for sweetness. The, the MSG is, is definitely doing something here. It is adding uh, an additional layer of flavors. This is like, you know, kind of mid-warm temperature. From this just initial cupping, I definitely think the MSG is, is really taking the brightness of acidity and shifting it over. So instead of you, when you first taste it, yes, there is acidity, but it's kind of veiled in, in this like layer of, I would say savoriness that's rounding out everything. And then at the end uh, is when you're getting that acidity and then it's really, really becoming kind of like a, a rounded finish. Uh, of course, I am using a, a Caftec Monolith Shuriken L Ember, which does provide a lot of that silkiness and upfront acidity. Uh, but at least tasting the variances of the coffee, there is this extra layer of savoriness, of, of something happening that is muting this sharper, brighter, structured acidity and shifting it towards the, the end, the aftertaste. I do think this is a great coffee just by itself. Uh, this is just modulating a lot of the flavors and uh, you're getting like 90, 90% of the same flavor profile, but a lot of that acidity is, is shifting in, in elsewhere. And I think that's what's interesting. Yeah, now that these have really, really cooled off, there's a little bit of weirdness going on in the very end with the MSG infuse. Uh, that is, I think is, is, I think a little bit of soupiness is, is going on here. The normal one finishes a, a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, but I do think that this here is not as an approachable coffee as the MSG. The MSG really rounds things out. It, it, it tones things down in exchange for sweetness. I actually think this MSG coffee is the one that you could serve to a variety of people and say, hey, this is this weird specialty coffee stuff. You should try it. Uh, whereas this is gonna be too sour, too bright, too vibrant for a lot of people. Like the acidity in the normal one is, is there's just like a lot to it. It's that structure to see where you're like, wow, I can talk about definition of a flavor note. This here, it's not like that. It, it's like, you know, 90% of that acidity, but you don't get so much information. It happens quick and then it really rounds out into this sweetness. Uh, now this sweetness, now that's really cool, this sweetness is really turning into a bit of this soupiness, which I'm not sure if I, I fully enjoy. This doesn't happen with the not MSG infused. There's just that acidity that really lingers. Now it's really becoming much more soupier. If you can present 90% of what the coffee is, but like tone down some of the unapproachable aspects of it, as in, I think acidity is one of the most unapproachable things for normal people in this type of coffee. Uh, this is interesting because this is like a hint of that acidity, uh, but really rounding things out and making it much more enjoyable. And when I think enjoyability, I think like sweetness, I think, uh, you know, tasty finish. Um, I think that's kind of what this MSG is accomplishing, but in that aftertaste, now that it's really, really cooled down, it is a little too savory for me, a little too soupy. Uh, and that is what I think what I'm really tasting is, is just the processing that, that is going on. If I were to align my very personal preferences with the, this coffee stuff, which is I like you know clean, bright, 
all those coffees, uh, structured acidity. I think the not MSG is my preference today. Uh, and, and the reason why is that the acidity is much more defined, it exists longer, there's more definition of, of notes. And uh, the, But the MSG actually is really interesting because it really mutes some of those unapproachable aspects of that bright coffee, which is, well, acidities. And it you trade that off for some of that sweetness. And it's really interesting because you taste it and you're like, oh, sweetness and then it hits you with a little bit of acidity and then the rest of it is just all sweet but now that it has really cooled down at the end you just get this soup savory region and, and i'm not sure if i like that a lot but when these were warmer i actually think if you serve these coffee to people i think most people normal people they are not nerds not specialty nerds would probably pick msg because this is making a lot of those things more approachable a lot you know, it's different. And then uh, really quick, texture between the two seems to be very similar, but the soupiness of this is really throwing me off where I'm like, oh, this is maybe even savory, it's more like savory, but the finishes on these uh, are, are quite similar. Uh, I just think the biggest difference is that acidity and actual like initial flavor component, uh, like initial flavor that, that you get from, from sipping these two coffees. <laughs> MSG coffee, there we go. Uh, just wanted to do a video on that. I wanna thank s and Craft Roasting for doing this project and also Hello World for kicking all of this off. But. But yeah, that, that's, that's all. Uh, thanks for spending time to watch this video. I will see you guys in the next one. MSG coffee, it really do be like that. Basically take the spoon and take a little bit of it and then sip it and then, and then dip it into this when you're done because you need to like clean it. And then just let me know which one you like better. <laughs> exactly do that. So just go at the surface, yep. And then give it a sip. And then dip, 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 dip it in there because you need to clean it because you don't want to mix mix it together. Yep. And then, yeah. That tasted kind of smooth. Okay. Versus, versus that this one. tastes more like sour, uh -huh. I guess. Which, which one do you... Those are fine. Which, which one do you like better? I'd probably go with this one more. Yeah, and you you are you don't really drink this specialty coffee stuff that much, right? Yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I guess it's just a little more tangy, I guess. Uh, and this one's like... This is almost irony. Almost. Interesting. Uh -huh, yeah. Like tangy. Irony. And then this one is just... Smoother. Smoother. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this coffee here on the left has been infused with MSG. Mm -hmm. And this is the not MSG one. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, what so... What is it supposed to be regularly? It's... there. I think there are like all these different flavor notes and it's like uh, pretty like Light, this is a light roast coffee, um, but... This is, like, in my mouth still. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's still there. Uh -huh. I can taste it, like, in my like the teeth. Like the tanginess? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one goes away kind of quickly. Yeah. Yeah, you like this one more, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's exactly, that's what I said. Yeah, I was like, I think normal people are going to like this one better. The MSG-infused coffee oh, MSG is more, approach, more approachable. Yeah. MSG yeah. makes everything taste <laughs> Okay, yeah, all right. Make MSG everything. <laughs>